Hello, my name is Akemji Defornian. People call me AK. Uh, I am a writer, producer, actor, and musician. And I work on Family. Hi, I'm Tom Mucci, and I am one of six of the Family Lamb cast. I'm Danielle Vitalis. I'm an actress. I'm Samson Ko, and I'm an actor and a writer. Hi, I'm Viviana Champong, an actor in Family. Hi, I'm Kevin KG Gary. Just goes KG to be honest. Loads of different things, man. Um, I think there was a lot of stuff that we talked about already, and we kind of stay in the moment with things, so things could come up uh, topically that we want to tackle. Like for instance. Um, a day before we shot it, we did a sketch on Greta Thunberg, uh, which was quite topical and stuff like that. All in good taste. Um, and there's like, um, I like musicals. I like a lot of musical stuff. I like hip hop music. And so there's stuff like that where we go, oh, what would what would this be like if we did like a sketch on this and we made a commentary? So um, there's a heavy music element in the show. And, um, and we're, you know, and Twitter, black Twitter, uh, I, um, uh, 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 provides a lot of inspiration for stuff, you know, and relationships are just the usual, the usual fodder for sketch shows, you know, being topical and being on the, on the pulse of culture. The first day we wrapped the pilot because that was like my first ever like thing, so, uh, and I got flowers and stuff like that. I never had that before, so that's ingrained into my head. There's been so many moments. Um, so lots of favourite times that we've had, like doing the auntie sketches, absolutely love that, that's always really fun. I remember one of the first, um, the first sketches that we ever did was like a space one and we're all in it and that was really memorable and there's been some really great times in this one but I'm not going to give away any sketches but this season we've just laughed constantly all the time. So I think all of it is just memorable because you're kind of mucking about with your mates but it's all very professional as well. But What helps me to develop my characters is costume, makeup. I feel like once I've got the costume on and the makeups, I can then just start to move like the character, speak, just speak to myself in my trailer, do improvisations, be like, you know, like that, to myself. So there's a lot going on in that trailer, so it's moving. Kind of just going in. I think we're we're blessed to have like a production team that allow us to be free with our creative process in terms of when we're actually shooting. So like, you know, we have the lines, but we're allowed to go in between the lines and up and down and kind of make of it what we feel is just without being, you know, restricted. So that kind of always gives you a bit of a benefit to be able to to, to kind of change things up and, and make it funnier and you know and, and not be able not be not feel like you can't essentially it's it's an interesting one and it's a balance really because you're you're trying to be irreverent because I like stuff that is just not um, I like rude humor and I like humor that isn't just isn't respectful but then you're also trying to be respectful of like I'm very fortunate to be black like it's it's the most amazing thing no offense to anyone else but I love uh, not being averse to seasoning and rhythm and spice and I love my skin I love I love I love being black so you want to be I want to be respectful to my mum and, and, and my sisters and everyone but I also uh, want to push that forward because it's just that balance of uh, as uh, Charlemagne says righteousness and ratchetness and that is life it is yin and yang you know so for every um, for every bit of wokeness that people like to espouse behind the scenes they talk a lot of crud and so anyone presenting just wokeness uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, as their modus operandi without showing the crud they're not real don't believe them they're fronting it was at a house party together you know you go to house parties and then someone's like oh you're gonna be in my thing you know and i'm like yeah <laughs> and then to like to be in on set and like dressed up like as an italian gangster like i can't believe it it's the so that i would say just just someone fulfilling falling through their word and actually do, making something like amazing
I can't wait for you to watch that. It's crazy. When I found out I got the role in Family and I was like, Well, it's about time! What in the heck? Where have you been all my life? I've been waiting for this! But mostly I was just like, no, cool. She stay, she stay. She I do enjoy life. playing Warren we stay um, from uh, Turf Wars. I feel like I get to be the gangster that I never was able to become. There is a character in this season that I really enjoy playing. I don't know if I'm allowed to say. Am I allowed to say no? Okay, her name is Yemi Cheda. Um, that was really fun. I like playing the aunties. Um, just, I enjoy most of the characters, really. Because I just love being able to transform into these different people that you don't really get the opportunity to do as an actor sometimes. So, I don't think... I've, oh, God, what other ones have there been? Yeah, I just love it. Me, which is my favourite child. They're not my children. Um, there's loads. I like Sean from Where You Look Point. I think he's amazing. I love Babatunde Warrington, man, from um, the Fantastic Goosey Nollywood films. Um, I think he's brilliant. I like um, Fat Sam, which Bemi plays. Um, John McMillan plays a character called Peter, who's like a social media guy. Um, Danielle uh, Vitalis has got like a few amazing new characters. She plays like a mob boss. One of them that's really good. Uh, uh, Luther is back, um, uh, and Tom kills that. Viv's got some wicked characters. I don't have one, but like if I was to, I would say Babatunde Warrington and Blessings actually. Babatunde and Blessings, um, Samson and Bemi's characters from the Hollywood. Those made me laugh. You hear me laughing? I'm the worst. I'm the worst. They hate me. They, no, I'm hated. Literally, like, cause people be saying this is the this is the problem, yeah. So you're walking, and then you'll be with someone, and you'll be like, oh, I'm gonna make you laugh now. Obviously, we're still filming though, but their job, they're trying to make you laugh while we're filming, which is disrespectful. So, but now I know that's the energy. So, like, I want to play that game now as well, innit? So it's a mess. But that's why I think they make gold, innit? Because we're actually trying to ruin it for each other, make each other laugh while we're filming. Yes, yeah, insane. Thank you, BBC, for the budget. They're all probably, they've all probably said that I break out of character the most. They're liars, all right? I definitely do, all right, they're not. But I found a way to make everyone else look bad. So I make them laugh, so they laugh, so we're both laughing, so I don't look the worst. But yeah, it's AK, if you're there for... Oh, what should you expect from Family Lamb Series 3? <laughs> we gonna get in trouble! Say crazier, like edgier sketches, and I think just more. I think they're doing. It's like it's not your typical. It's not typical. That's why I always say like we come in and the level's gone up. Just you know what I'm saying. So you're looking at sketching and like, oh, I didn't know that was gonna go this way with it. Do you know what I'm saying? So even when I when I read a script, I'm like, oh wow, we're, we're doing this. Do you know what I mean? Which is cool because. I could just, I think we could just do it one way, just what I'm saying, and then, but we're really like, I think it's it's layered, which is good. So I can't wait for you to see like, I'm not, I can't, I'm not gonna give nothing away, but I can't wait for you to see like, we filmed some super stuff yesterday. That's all I can say. Over ten sketches are gonna go viral. There's a, there's too much. I don't even know where to start. There's so much stuff and it's like, I feel like we've commented on everything about the world. Um, and uh, obviously the usual stuff that we just reinforced is still there. So expect that for the people that are, you know, following us and, you know, supporting us. But uh, big, grand. Yeah, big and grand. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Um, we kind of play it like one one series at a time. And I think what's been great uh, over the last three years is this show has turned into something beyond what the pilot was. So everyone's, as a result, has been really successful. You know, people have flown around the world to do different things, to America and beyond. And um, everyone's availability is mad. So even getting the band back together for this series was a bit nuts. Um, just because. Um, so we, I think... It's about 14 months since we did the last one. 
So who knows? Um, but um, if we do, they gotta give us that bag. They gotta give us that bag.